What up world, it's BK here. Today I'm excited to show you all the different components required to set up a Speedwino. In the last video, we went over what a Speedwino was and how to set up a Tuner Studio onto your Arduino. And today we're gonna talk about what considerations you need to make when purchasing a Speedwino and what other parts you'll want. This is about what we need to get started. I'm sure we might need more things in the future. The components you see here are the Speedwino. And then you have your Arduino. This is a stepper controller. This is a VR conditioner. And then this is a harness plug. I went with a company called WTM Tronics because I like their board has surface mounted components. They also have the conditioner and stepper and the harness you will need. The They do have an Arduino on their website, but you don't want to purchase that one. The reason is the Arduinos come with two different types of USB interfaces. You often can't tell by looking at it, but I will put up the two different versions. Ensure you purchase an Arduino that doesn't have the CH USB interface. So there are a few different options when purchasing the boards. Like I said, I went with this one because it has surface mounted components and it's much smaller of a form factor. The main consideration aside from that is going to be how many cylinders you need to run. This has four ignition channels. That means you can run up to a eight cylinder engine with even firing. In our case, we would use three to get six. This component I want to talk about is a the VR conditioner. So the Speedwino takes a 3.3 to 3.5 square wave pulse for the cranking cam sensor. So if you have like a HAL sen or optical sensor, then you will not need the VR conditioner. So the VR conditioner is for variable reluctance crank or cam signals. For instance, we're using a crank sensor from the distributor on a VG. This is a two wire connection and sends an AC signal. That AC signal needs to be conditioned to a square wave pulse in order for the Speedwino to know what's going on. And that's what the VR conditioner does. Congratulations, now you know all the different components required to build the Speedwino. If you'd like to see how to assemble them, check out this video. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.